Good evening. The Center for Health Protection has recorded a spike in flu-related deaths, a total of six in as many days. As Rachel Lung reports, authorities say the public should prepare for the peak winter flu season, which is now expected to arrive later than usual. The flu season is upon us, and it's hitting Hong Kong's hospitals hard. Figures from the hospital authority show that the bed occupancy rates in medical wards of public hospitals continue to remain high. Yesterday, it was 118 percent at Kuantong's United Christian Hospital. The Prince of Wales Hospital in Sha Tin recorded the highest rates of 124 percent among all public hospitals. Their emergency rooms received a total of 6,157 people yesterday, a slight increase compared with the day before. The Center for Health Protection started initiating its winter surge measures last Friday. Over the six days since then, there had been seven severe cases of flu infections, and six of the patients died. They were aged between 75 and 89. Four of them were infected with the H3N2 virus. Experts have warned the public to brace for a rise in flu infections. Well, the peak influenza season has started a bit late this year, mm -hmm. probably because of the warm weather uh, throughout the last few months. So it was only last week then the, the, uh, the, the flu season really started. The cooler weather made the, the virus more active. So the, the activity was apparently more uh, obvious from last week. At the moment, okay. it is H3N2 that is predominant. And H3N2 is also more severe in the elderly compared to H1N1. To keep illness at bay, experts recommended a yearly flu jab as protection against the virus, especially for those in high-risk groups, such as the elderly and those with chronic diseases. Rachel Ng, TVB News. At the district court today, a 